What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and I didn't think there was a company that could be worse than Carvana, at least with the type of cars that they sell, but I was wrong. <laughs> Welcome on back to TK's Garage, guys, and today we're going to talk a little bit about a company that I feel uh, may sell more crap than Carvana, and and uh, they are a predatory lender specifically targeting minorities, and uh, they sell the crap that Carvana can't sell. If you haven't guessed where I was going with this yet, or didn't read the title of today's video, I'm talking about drive time. Now, I was leaked some internal documents from the company, um, which I'm still waiting on approval from my attorney for me to be able to publish them in a video, which I will do. Uh, but they are leaked internal documents specifically talking about, and I can talk about what the documents say. Uh, I also provided them to, to, to some local media. Um, they're internal documents that specifically talk about the merger after the acquisition of Odessa with Drive Time and Carvana to where Carvana doesn't just have the vending machines, but then they'll have actually dealership locations. And let me explain why that's important. So right now, Drive Time was kind of like a separate company, right? You know, they, they market themselves as this company of know what your down payment is, know how much your monthly payment is. They don't talk about interest and they don't talk about what the total price of the car is. They do that for a reason. The biggest thing I can tell anybody, if you're looking, if you have not the best credit to buy a car, either buy some piece of shit for cash for now just some beater man and get by while you can take those funds monthly and start to fix your credit so you can get something nice because what what drive time does is they specifically target minorities and the reason why i say that is because in these internal documents that i did get from drive time i can't i i'll just i can say it's much more than half it's so much more than half of their customers or minorities. And not only that, much more than 40%, I can say that, are all paying a 15% or higher interest rate on their car. Now we call that predatory lending. They also have, for not just being a bank, one of the highest over 20% interest rate lending loans of any car dealer in the United States. Now, what does that tell you? Oh, except, you know who number two is? You might've guessed it, right, Carvana. So, you know, look, I'm not a big fan of Elizabeth Warren, but I do like that she does come after companies that are really bad on consumers. And I can say this, drive time is super, super bad for consumers. They take advantage of you by saying, yes, we see you have a job and you provided us your pay stubs. Yes, your credit sucks. Your down payment is 1500 bucks and you're gonna pay $400 a month for a car. And I'll just give this as an example, say uh, a Kia Rio, right? A Kia Rio with 85,000 miles on it, dogged the absolute shit out, okay? Gonna have all kinds of problems with the car and you're gonna pay 400 bucks a month for that car. That is a scat pack payment. That is a, if you have really, 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 really great credit, um, a nice pickup truck payment. Uh, it, uh, man, maybe 500 bucks, but still, like you're paying for a clapped out Kia Rio, the same price that you'd be paying for almost a, 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 a scat pack or a nice RT or something. And that's that's absolutely ridiculous. And it's, 
and it's uh, not good. Now, for a lot of people that are car dealers, they everybody, a lot of people, some people will say that a Desa is good. I guess it depends on where it is. They are the bottom rung when it comes to auto auctions. Okay, it's not Mannheim or, or anything like that. So, like the cars, I'm not saying that you couldn't get a good car out of there. I'm just saying that, and and a lot of dealers, and you'll see them in the comments here, I'm sure will tell you that 90% of the cars that run through that auction are absolute shit. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means uh, from the Carvana pers perspective that they're going to try to sell as many of those cars through Carvana as possible. You know where the rest of those cars go? That's right. They go to drive time. In fact, um, you know, we've done stories here and we've talked about vehicles that got dropped off of trailers or broken or rotted out or rusted out. And I recently just found out, and I haven't had a chance to message Chris, but the Hyundai that he purchased that fell off the trailer and had all that significant damage and all the coolant issues and, and everything else. Um, yeah, Carvana didn't try to resell it on Carvana's site. No, you know where the car went? And this is what the wonderful thing is about having a VIN number and you can just Google it. Yeah, it's for sale at drive time. A car that fell off of a trailer and had significant structural damage is now being sold at drive time. Wow. That's not illegal, right? No, there, 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 there can't be. Huh. Come to find out, drive time bought the vehicle from Carvana. And what's so funny about it is it's just a lateral transfer. They're the same company. So, unfortunately, a lot of people have been asking me to cover this thing about drive time. You know, and it's the same same founders, the same ownership group. You know, they're, they're basically sister companies. And if you think Carvana is bad, right, as far as their culture, how they, you know, like do their documents... Well, they might sell you a stolen car. The car could be completely clapped out. Drive time is worse. And what I mean by that is I, I have a slew. And when I tell you a slew, like I have over 100 emails from customers that have bought vehicles at drive time that had the vehicle for some people had them for like six months. But I have a very good group of people that had the car for less than 30 days and the cars had catastrophic failures, engine failures, transmission failures, da 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 da. And here's the thing some of them are under some limited warranty or whatever with drive time, and they replace the, the, the components, the, the major components like an engine or a transmission with a salvage yard motor, which you don't even know that's not safe, right? And to give you a little update on, if you remember, we had a guest on on the live stream here the other day, Madison, who bought a car from Carvana. Um, yeah, the, the company Silver Rock, you know, which is a, affiliated with Carvana, is now trying to replace her transfer case and the other important safety features of her vehicle with salvage parts now a good mechanic would refuse that and say we're not doing that and i may do a full update video for you guys on that here in the future but um the reason why i bring that up is this company and the satellites around it it's like a culture of scumbags criminals and douchebags and if you're looking at buying a car I'd rather you buy a car from Leisure Suit Larry down the street than Drive Time and or Carvana. In fact, if you're really looking for a good experience where a car that actually can have a warranty that backs it up and they don't use parts and they do you right, at least in my experience from what I've seen, go to CarMax. Not sponsored, but just, I mean, they do sponsor the channel, but the, me mentioning it, it is not a sponsored bit. Go to CarMax. Why? Because CarMax actually, uh, I don't want to say they care about their customers, but the way that the contracts are written, the way that MaxCare is put together, if you get a MaxCare plan, you're pretty much covered. And I can say that because I've had over $7,500 in repairs done on this BMW at this point. 
that have cost me almost nothing. So who you do business with is important. And I really wanted to bring attention to this stuff with drive time because the thing that shocked me the most of the main purpose of me getting into the video today to talk about drive time was the, the video that we did with Chris, which, um, let me pull up Chris's uh, Instagram for you guys. I mean, uh, TikTok for you guys real quick. So you guys can go see the original video. Um, I mean, we, I think I do have it on here as like a story or something, but Chris is, Chris is a good guy, man. And here's the thing. He had a good experience with them. I mean, they, you know, he was able to give the car back and whatnot and, and really didn't have any issues. And, and I appreciate it. It's Chris Dankers. But you guys can follow him at Dankers Racing on TikTok. Go give him a follow. He's also got YouTube and a whole nine. But um, let me do. Oh, it's right here. Let me show you this. And I can even play it over the audio so you guys get really good audio. Uh, here we go. Check this out. What to expect when spending 30K on a car from Carvana? This very Hyundai that you're going to watch fall off of this trailer is now for sale. Oh. What to expect when spending 30K on a car? Activity touring. Is now for sale at drive time. What do you want me to do? Facts are facts. You know, um, as soon as David gives me the all clear on the documents, because he's going to, we're just making sure that I'm able to publish this as press. Um, and I'm also coordinating with a couple of local media people to also, once they publish it, then I can just run with it. Uh, but these documents show just how they target minorities, what the interest rates are. And you know what's really even more scumbag? People that... I'm just going to say it. There's black folks that have bought cars from drive time that had better credit than people that look like me that are paying five to 7% more in interest than the person that looks like me that had a 600 credit score. Boop. That's a story. Sorry. And uh, I think once this kind of stuff gets into the public it, it, it's it's gonna hurt drive time of course but it's also gonna come back on carvana because they're one in the same um let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i know i've recently we've had some carvana trolls coming into the comments talking about how great their company is and you know we just smash their mom sideways and, and move them on, move them up out the way but um with that said, man, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. You guys have been asking me to talk about this issue with drive time. Hopefully this is addresses it with you guys. I am going to spot, speak more specifically on the issue with Madison's Jeep again here in the near future when I get an update from her. And um, yeah, it's uh, ridiculous. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,